we're on site down at a new lake project, new lake build we're doing in Texas. Uh, this is a project we've been working on for quite a while in the design phase. Now we're into the habitat implementation phase. And it's, it's in, this is where the rubber meets the road, so to speak. And um, we're putting the habitat in that we've been planning out on paper for the last uh, 18 months. As we're doing this, one of the things, one of the questions that always pops up is which type of habitat do you use, natural versus artificial? And, and the answer is both. When it comes to habitat, the best kind to use is highly diverse, whatever you can get your hands on. So in this project and a lot of projects we do, we, we try to take advantage of what's local. This is East Texas. We have a lot of limestone rocks, so we were able to get some of these giant boulders out and we're placing boulders around all of our, our habitat sites. We're also mixing those in with uh, mossback fish habitat. This is plastic habitat. It's permanent. It gives us the high high protection, high safe haven type refuge habitat we need particularly for small fish. And we also use any tree roots. We'll actually take this tree, turn it upside down, have the root wad sticking up out of the water, and this will provide great nursery habitat for quite a while and then the stump will last in the lake for years and years and years. The thing with artificial versus natural, one thing you got to keep in mind, a cedar tree, uh, brush pile, things like that are, are really, really good habitat but they degrade through time. Rock, the, the core of this stump and this plastic habitat will be here forever. So once we've established a site, we know within a few years, probably four to five years, we'll be back in here dropping more cedar trees in, freshening up that natural habitat to keep the whole thing going. This is the infrastructure within the lake that we build fish populations on top of. So the key is diversity, get what you can use. If you have questions or comments, check us out at bluewingoutdoors.com or, or give us a call. We're happy to talk habitat.